What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Should we go Pegasus or Tink? Tell me now. Oh, bro, don't write the comment now. Morph is gone. This is the BOGO Beast, the buy one, get one beast. Why do we call it BOGO? Because of Chief BOGO here in subordination. When you play a Floodborne character, deal one damage to each opposing character. It's like a Bucky, but way worse. Chief BOGO was kind of a punk in the anime, and I'm not digging him. But we're going to play his deck, and it has a couple Floodborns in it. It's got three Helga Sinclairs, three Pegasuses, three Tinkerbells, and three Beasts. It's got the shift beast line, which is weird. We like this beast because when you play this character, you may deal one damage to chosen character. I got a signed steadfast card of this card, and I'm excited about that. We have merfolks to go fast. We have enchantress to be able to deal some major damage when we want. And then we also have a shift uh, health up line. I forgot about that one. And we have morph to go into whatever we want. We have avalanche, pack tactics, and ring the bell. This is the banished chosen damage characters. We're going to be able to damage the characters by playing Tinkerbell or by playing avalanche. Uh, pack tactics gain one more for each damage character uh, opponent has in play. That's pretty cool. If we damage like six of their characters, pop one of these, get six lore, win the game. It's got the brunskis. It's got grab, strength of fire, and hidden cove. We're excited to play this deck. If you want to take a screenshot, you can screenshot this, or the deck list is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Let's do it. Means we learned this video, don't count your morphs before they hatch. Number two, Chief Bogo, Tink, Giant Fairy combo would be sick. They shut us down, but it's basically a grab your sword. And number three, we win a game with pack tactics. Stay tuned for it. Here we Chief Bogo, medium rare potato. How does that work? We're going against the purple reds. Ew. Have you ever seen a purple red in real life? We're going to get rid of those because those are late game plays. We might keep that. Psych and pass. Mulligan. There's the Pegasus, the Helga, the Hidden Cove, and the Pegasus. Surely we don't need two Pegasuses. So we're going to ink Enchantress. And play Hidden Cove. They're not going to know what to do now. We'll pass turn. It's Green Steel. They're going to think they're playing some Bucky. And they're going to play different. There's Mulan. They're playing different too. Ring the bell into the inkwell. And here comes little Morph Sickle. And we pass the turn. Hopefully they don't have an answer for Morph Sickle. They can't brawl yet. They play a Lumira, which puts this to a 3-3. Three, three. Super cool. Um, shift Pegasus is 3. We're going to get rid of this. Shift the Pegasus. Even though we probably should have just played him. And quest for two. There ain't no way they're going to hit this. And pass the turn. Hopefully we get an equal card and play this and that. But who knows. There's lots of unequal. They ink their brawl. Good news. Uh, we're going to check our inkable count real quick. Plenty of them. We have 15 non-equal cards. Looks like they used uh, How to Train Your Dragon, a.k.a. Friends on the Other Side. I mean, what? Well, Ink Beast, because we got to do what we got to do. We got to play our Pegasus and play our Aladdin. And then we got a quest for two. <laughs> we quest for two. <laughs> and then it's up to them. They're at four Ink. They play a Peter Pan Shadows. Don't like him. Does three damage? Oh, because he gets an extra strength from that. That's sick. If we ink Pegasus, we can play Beast, and that's kind of the move. Not even gonna lie. We just gotta play our Beast. We'll quest, and quest, and pass. I don't think we have time to wait another turn with them being able to get to 70 relatively fast, or Medusa. 
Ooh, what's this? When you play this character, move up to three damage counters from chosen character to choosing opposing character. They put it to our beast. And now beast doesn't get to do his thing. It's a three, three. We get a Pegasus. Probably should have inked it so we could uh, tinked it. We're questing all over the place. We're up to 10 and they're at zero. But they got a spicy deck, not gonna lie. That's pretty cool to play a Lumineer. Having that one extra strength, this as a 5-4 character, that's huge. That can one-shot Beastly if you didn't have damage on him already. Imagine one-shotting a beast, like, and subscribe. They quest for two. They quest Lumiere. And they play the Mulan Shift, which is super cool. They're going to be able to deal damage to three other characters, is that right? Just two other characters. Three. No, they attack one, and then, wow. That's sick. We're going to ink this so we can Tinkerbell eventually. And do a little quest of our own and pass. That was the Wombo combo right there. Medium Rare Potato gave us the beans. There's Maleficent. And when you play her, you get to draw a card, right? Whenever this character quests, you can draw a card. During your turn, whenever you draw a card, you may move one damage counter from chosen character to opposing character. We grab your swords. No mind if I do. Get out of there, Lumiere. He's gone. They have ton of damage, and they'll be able to uh, move it around, if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to quest and path. Definitely should have ran that into that, but we didn't. Whoops. They're choosing a trigger. How cooked are we? Probably really. They concede. That's the W. That's how you do it. It never fails. Let's go. A win's a win. The BOGO beast is here. We should probably try to play Chief BOGO. We get played against a green steel Fernando. Ali Ali Hondro. Merfolk, Ink, Hidden Cove, wow. Shift on four, that's the move. We're keeping, we're keeping. Uh, ink, Hidden Cove, question mark, Skibbity. Um, Skibbity Cove, yeah. Yeah, sometimes we got a Skibbity Cove. And then we'll play our Merfolk and pass turn. Our hope is to shift four. Tinkerbell. Discard location? Whoa. There's the Robbity Bobbity. We have a strength of the Raving Fire. We can ink Enchant Tress. Play him down. Kind of dangerous, I know. But we're out here chilling in Cedar Rapids. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. We could probably shift it into Pegasus and that'd be safer. Then we can turn for Tink. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Should we go Pegasus or Tink? Tell me now. Oh, bro. Don't write the comment now. Morph is gone. What? They're going to take out our Merfolk. Get rid of their bird, which is huge. That's awesome. We get Enchantress. Or as I like to call her, Ink. I think we'll get rid of him. I think we'll get rid of Bro. Play a little Enchantress action. Pass the turn. Ever heard of it? Ever heard of passing turn? There's the Robbity Bobbity into the Inkwell. Do they have the shift? Robbity Bobbity. They have an Ursula to look for a song, and we have a song. What they are doing crazy moves. They're getting rid of Shift Robbins, playing all sorts of wacky things. Oh, we get a dinner bell. Which we might save for that, but we gotta get rid of it now. I don't know. Quest and pass. It gets the reverse challenger. When being challenged, this character gets two strength. 
the reverse challenger. Ursula in the inkwell, we could see the shift Diablo here. Wow, it's the Buckaroo. Incredible value. They go for the challenge. They take out their thing. They have two ink to play with. We get to ring the bell. We're going to ink it and hope that this isn't a Floodborne character. I think we're actually just going to pass. In case they make us discard, we can discard Pegasus and still play this. Hopefully next turn if we draw an inkable card. It is a Floodborne. Discard Pegasus, and we're just hoping that Tinkerbell can make it. Inkable card, inkable card. It's an uninkable, but it does work. Does some good damage. It's, in fact, the best card for what we had. They get to draw a card, and we're chilling. They ink a snake, a sneaky snake. We can see the robbity bobbity. It's the beast. That's pretty good. Um, that helps us. They don't get to draw a card. Ooh, it's an Aladdin. They're gearing up. Finally get an inkable card, but I think we're just going to make them discard Beast. To Flynn Rider, I hardly know her. We get a BOGO. Whenever you play a Floodborne character, deal one damage to each opposing character. That works out. What do they got? It's Let the Storm Rage On does two damage to our cheap BOGO, lets them draw a card. They sang it with Aladdin, so they still have five ink. And they're going to get rid of Bogo right then and there. Huge plays. There's a Flynn Rider. The 1 3. We get a beast. We have to ink the beast now. And we have to play our Tinkerbell so we can attack and take out Flynn, hopefully. It's our only hope. Watch them pull a Zeus. If they pull a Zeus, we concede. What do you think? Whew, it's good. It's an Ursula. They don't quest. We play a Helga. Four. Three. Five. Pass. They can quest for seven. They Bruno us. And we're good to go. To the Shadow Realm. We got one concede. We conceded once. Let's go again. We get paired with Atlas. We get paired against the purple red deck. We have one concede. We conceded once. We're we're chilling. This is our tiebreaker. This is to see for all the marbles what's good. 4-3 shift. We're kind of loving it. We're kind of loving this hand. Let me know in the comments if you're kind of loving this hand. The only question is if we ink Helga first by Helga. We have other stuff to do on turn 3. We e play our Pegasus and pass. A7. They ink a goat. Always good to see a goat in the ink. When we see a goat being played, we say, oh no, we get a Brunsky. We're going to Inky and play a Pegasus. Ever heard of it? We get a quest for one and pass the turn. <clears throat> Bless you. There's the Merlin crab into the inkwell. There's the Flynn Rider, I hardly know her, who has two damage to attack power. They would gain if we don't shift. So we're going to have to shift. Shift. We have strength, which would almost be better. 
Would it? They could gain a lore. We'll get rid of Brewski. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. We'll shift. And we'll quest three is more than two, so we're solid. And we pass. Next turn will be a weird one, where we'll probably ink Tragic Hero. But I don't know. They have lots of cards in their hand. They ink a Brawl, which is great news. And they play it friends on the other side, they draw two. And pass the turn. I think we are just going to ink that. So we can play that, deal the damage to Flinsky, and just keep questing. And maybe we get to get out our beast next turn. I don't know. That'd be cool. Imagine we pull another uninkable card. Oh, we could just shift three. That's the value of it. Look how crazy this thing is. How is this not a Flimboy? And this is. Like, that beast looks crazy. They have the snake in an inkwell. Sisu's at three. Ink. We'll just hard play beast. No need to shift it for any reason. Do some questing. Go to 11. This is only a two strength character chilling in Cedar Rapids. More like Pokemon go to the polls. They ink a Cusco. We can get six lore next turn if they don't do some shenanigans. They play Queen's Castle. Oh no. We're so scared. Are they going to quest with their Sisu? We get to grab your swords. Three. Three. And one. Sing. And one. And one. We didn't get any lore, but we did some disruption. We like disrupting the their board. They have uh, six cards. They can go to seven. They can go to six ink. And play something, but we quest for nine. Be king undisputed. We choose one to banish. Is it going to be Beastie or a Pegasus? I think it's going to be a Pegasus. They pay all for it. For it. There's the Brawl into the Inkwell. Weird again that they're not using Brawls. Brawls could take out that. Pack Tactics. Gain a Lore. For each damage. Oh, dude, they don't see it coming. We're going to win the game with pack tactics. That goes crazy. We're going to quest it out. And that, so we're at 19. Check it out. Here comes the pack tactics. We gain a lore for each damage character and win the game. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and the subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow in the very next video.